Hi, I'm Jason and I'm here from Trodat Mark in Canada and we're going to demonstrate how to make a seal on a Trotec laser. First I'll go over some of the options available for you. This is a 1 and 5 8 size corporate seal. Now these are used for corporations, they're used for notary publics and for lawyers most often and you can even use them for personal use. So this is a 1 and 5 8 size. They also come in a 2 inch size and even come in a one inch by two inch rectangle. This is our Millennium Seal. It's uh, made from all steel and it's actually designed for the desk. This is if someone's looking for the more traditional route. The other option we have is what we know as a gift embosser. And it's more of a fancy, uh, kind of an old fashioned version of it. And it works the same way the other ones do. It's just a little more fancy looking. A lot of lawyers do like it. Okay, let's go over the features of the Trodat Ideal Seal. One of them is a locking feature, which actually prevents the, the mechanism from opening up on you. A really great thing about this seal that's been redesigned is that it works as a desk seal, as you see. There's nothing in the way, and it also actually works as a pocket seal. The die holder fits conveniently right in the back of it for easy storage as well. To engrave one on the laser, you're going to need some Delrin. Now Delrin is basically a plastic, a special plastic that's designed for engraving seals. It's a very hard and durable plastic. It'll last many, many years. It's available in white and black. There's no difference at all between them except for color. It's just a personal preference for a lot of people. So we're gonna be engraving these pieces of Delrin. Basically a male side and a female side. Okay, and you'll see here on the screen we have some artwork. This is just a sample artwork. A lot of people do do a border or dots or even logos can be possible. So right from here, I will go to print. This will open up the, the print dialog screen. And you want to go to preferences. And under here, there you'll find your settings. You want to adjust the size of a seal. In this case, it's 1.725. Change these settings of material setting. And there's actually one for Delrin if you're using um, job control 10 and up. You choose Delrin, it automatically defaults for the size and thickness of it. Then you're going to change the process mode option to seal. And automatically it's going to give you some dialogue information here. At this stage you want to hit job control. So one important thing I want to do is talk about material setup. Under material setup you will see there's a power speed adjustments. For this, la this particular laser, this is an 80 watt machine. It's relatively new, it's a Speedy 300. If you have different wattages or different ages of your laser tube, you're gonna to wanna to change these settings and tinker a little bit until you find the desired result. The desired result means that you have a very good quality impression that's the right depth. You'll see here I have it set for 40 power and nine speed. This is another very important setting here called Z offset. If you're using our Trodat Ideal Seals, they require you to adjust this offset position to 0.12, only on the engraving section. Okay, and job control, here's our job. You double cl click on it and you can actually see the red cutting line on both sides. And you'll see what's a great thing about this is it's actually giving you both the, the female and the male side. If you're using job control 10 and above, this processor eliminates you from having two pieces of artwork. Okay, so now we're ready to do our engraving. So we'll go and hit play. Okay, now that you have your Delrin engraved, let's put it inside the seal. There is a male and a female side. You want to put the male side on the bottom section. And each of these inserts is actually labeled upside and bottom side. 
So first I'll take my, I'll take, I'll actually put the adhesive on first, top and bottom. You really only have one shot at this because the adhesive is very, very strong. Okay, that's ready to go. I'll turn it back upside down. I'll make sure it's upside. I'm gonna make sure the male side goes down. And you'll notice that job control actually makes a notch automatically to tell you how to line it up. And this is the top of the seal, basically. There's another notch here on the seal itself. You can then put those two guys together like that. Perfect. Okay, now to make your life easy, you just get the female one, again, with a notch. Stick it on top. Make sure it's positioned perfectly. Rub it around a little bit, it shouldn't move, it should be solid. Now, just simply get your fingers and push it down as hard as you can for a couple seconds. And now you'll see that both top and bottom are ready to go. Now you get your insert showing upside and simply slide it in here by, as you hold those together. And you'll see little teeth along the bottom here will line up to those teeth. Just like that and you'll have a click sound. And you're good to go. Now we'll try it on some paper. This is just standard office paper. Some people do want to use a thicker paper that will be fine as well. But I'll just use this for the demonstration. And basically push it down like that and there's your impression. Okay, so you can buy these Trodat seals right from us at Trodat Marking Canada. And you can also buy the Delrin. So imagine the return on investment you can get just by these two small items on your Trotec laser. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And please like and subscribe.